Good morning, Trojans. Today is Monday, November 9th. This week, we will be recognizing those who served in the military on Veterans Day. Veterans Day is November 11th, which is this Wednesday. Veterans Day was originally named Armistice Day, but was officially renamed Veterans Day by President Eisenhower in 1954. Here are some other Veterans Day facts from History.com. The day is recognized on November 11th because that day signaled the end of the First World War in 1918. Starting in 1938, Veterans Day has been recognized as a national holiday. This day is to pay tribute to all the veterans who served in the country during war or peacetime. Here at Ash, we're lucky to have a couple of our teachers who served in the military before teaching. Good morning, Ash. I'm Colonel Joseph Martin, Jr. I spent 28 years and seven months on active duty in the United States Marine Corps, and I've been here at Alexander Senior High School for 20 years. Okay. Hello, my name is Mr. Edmondson, and I spent four years in the United States Navy as a submarine sonar technician. Four years, United States Marine Corps, uh, served in Vallejo, California, uh, at uh, Mare Island Naval Shipyard with uh, Fleet Anti-Terrorism Security Teams, Fast Company. Also uh, two years in Charleston, South Carolina uh, at the Polaris Missile Facility. Uh, I believe that going into the military right after school is one of the best things. What it does is it gets those kids off of the street, it gets them busy. And with the uh, military today, the military today is not like the military uh, 20 years ago. Uh, it's more technologically advanced and these kids uh, acquiring all of these technical skills and the military can certainly use them. Everything down to how to sew buttons on your clothes. I mean, it, it makes you into a, a, a complete individual and uh, how to be a, a young man. My experience serving in the military was invaluable in a number of ways. It came at a time where I just really needed some order and structure and discipline in my life. I hadn't been to too many places and I got to travel all over the world and it helped pay for college. It was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of interesting people you get to meet. The 1996 College World Series, I was actually stationed on my second submarine, the USS Olympia, and we were watching the championship game in the cruise mess. And I was telling people during the game, look, I know this guy, we grew up together. And when he hit the game-winning home run, it was like, I was, of course, I was just jumping up and screaming and going crazy. And they still didn't believe me, so I had to pull out my driver's license and show them, look, we're both from Alexandria. What more proof do you want? And then I basically ran all around the boat, pooping and hollering and doing my victory lap. So, so that's my Warren Morris story. Here are some more facts about veterans in our country from History.com. 18.2 million living veterans served during at least one war as of 2018. As of 2017, the top three states with the highest percentage of veterans are Alaska, Maine, and Montana. Another interesting fact from History.com is that 9% of our veterans are women. We know many of you know someone in the military, whether it's friends, siblings, grandparents, or parents. Veterans make a great sacrifice to serve our country, and their families do too. We talked to a few students who have parents that served in the military. Hi, my name is Claire Guillory, and I've had a lot of family serve in the military throughout the years. My stepdad was a major in the Air Force, and he was an intel officer. My dad was in the Army, and he served overseas. And my great-grandpa was in the Air Force, and he fought during World War II. Um, the family member that served in the military for me was my mother. She served in the Army, and she served for quite a bit of time. From the beginning, or since I was like way younger, but she, was, she went to Afghanistan. She went overseas to Afghanistan. So a few years ago, my mom came back from a deployment to surprise me, and I was very overwhelmed seeing her. It was a lot to take in at the time. But I was excited. I was happy for my mom to be home. She had been gone for a little over a year because in the military, once you deploy, you have to, you take like months at a time where you're training. And I really think that's impacted me because I have a better understanding on to, as to what goes into the job because not everyone can do it. You would never know if she was coming back or not until she actually, you might've got a, a letter or a phone call. But I mean, 
all I had to do was pray and make sure that she was, but I mean, we couldn't do nothing about it, but just pray. Well, like all the time, all the, over the years that she was gone, it was like not such of a mother figure there, it was my father there. So to know that your mother is okay and they're with you, that's a good, that's a good feeling. Veterans, they don't get the recognition they deserve every day. So for them to have a specific day, I feel like it's good because like nobody really knows what they go through where when they're gone for years at a time and they're not with their families, they don't see them often. It's like a Skype call every now and then. You should value the people that are still here with you because some people didn't make it and I'm, I'm very happy that my mother did. I think it's important to recognize veterans on Veterans Day because they made a huge sacrifice for this country and I feel like a lot of people don't realize exactly how fortunate we are to be able to have that kind of freedom in America and that like to know that every night when we go to bed that we're going to be safe because of the men and women who fought for this country. Because Veterans Day is a national holiday, we will not have school on Wednesday. For many people, this is more than just a day off of school or work. This is a day to take time to recognize and honor your loved ones who served. If it was not for the sacrifices of those veterans, uh, we would not have the liberties and things that we have today. We enjoy what we do today because someone else has made a sacrifice uh, for us, and so we ought to absolutely uh, shake a veteran's hand, tell a veteran thank you when you see a military person uh, with any type of military paraphernalia on, a paraphernalia on, a cap, a shirt or something like that, hey, just tell them, thank, tell them thanks for their service. Veterans Day is to thank those who are still with us, and especially when I still had my grandfathers and some great uncles who had served in World War II, always tried to make sure that was a time that I thanked them. There aren't too many of them left. And so, I mean, now even for my dad's generation, Vietnam generation, well, they're starting to leave us at more and more numbers. So it's, like I said, more than anything else, it's just an opportunity to thank those who are with us and who have made those sacrifices. Uh, by and large, it's a bunch of young individuals that are willing to put their lives on the line to sacrifice, or sacrifice their lives, perhaps for uh, our safety and our security.